Okay, so we're gonna do... I'm a lot more entertaining when I have someone to bounce off. Let's see. Number two. Ruthie, you wanna come say hi? Oh, she's on the phone. Never mind. Okay, so um, if you tuned in to Comment Sold, gee, it's been at least a month. We did those reading pillows, and I hope Chris got them all online. We had a few left over, so if you were um, wanting to get one of those, we did have a few that were left. But what you need is three fat quarters and some binding. So, And I think a fat quarter of a binding would work fine. So a couple years ago, I found this cute little Matilda fabric. And I always try to buy like child themed fabrics because you never know when you're going to need something like this. And of course I loved that book as a kid. I was not as smart as her, but I did like to read. So it's a fat quarter, fat quarter, and a fat quarter that is cut. And we have um, this pattern on this site. I'm not sure if it's free today or if it's just available all the time. But, oh, you're making nine right now? Nice, Lara. I, th I think I've made probably like 50 throughout my years. The, and the original pattern I found, I think it was, um, I can't remember her name. Polka dot chair. She has you do piping, which I piped. Man, I piped like 12 of these and that's the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. And also like a flap that you tie ribbon on and you can see how well that's held up over kids. So I revamped it and like this one, the ribbons lasted but it never really quite fit so the one that we kind of did the other day she did piping on all of it so like I had to pipe this pocket first you have to make the piping and then you have to insert the piping and then you have to hope that you get your corners to turn out okay um, anyway I found a better way because that's what we do right make it work for us so the cutting instructions are there. What I did is bind it. I think it's cuter. It's a heck of a lot easier. You don't have to get cording. You don't have to make piping. You don't have to cut fabric on the bias. So, um, and I like, I'll use either fusible fleece or batting. I um, like the batting just cause it's a little bit softer, uh, but I use what I have. The fusible fleece is a little sturdier, but it's a pillow, so it doesn't really matter. And you can, if you want, back it in muslin. I don't, just because I never have it. So you'll cut your first one to size. And um, and then I'll always quilt the front of the pillow. So this part right here. I'll usually always quilt this, but I won't here. It's um, small enough that it doesn't need it, and I'm usually in a hurry, but you can if you want. And then, let's see. So yeah, I, I'll just quilt this piece. You can quilt as much as you want, but that's usually the softer that needs to stand up a little bit better. So quilt this piece and I just do a straight line, bump up my stitch a little bit um, and boom, 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 use my walking foot and the edge of my foot and space it that way. You could do a grid, you could just get a big piece and free motion it and then cut it to size if you wanted to do that. Um, yeah, Tana says she likes the bite being better. Me too. So much easier. Um, I don't know how much piping I had to unpick the first time I made that just because it didn't catch and going around those corners and then I will give you a little tip when you're binding this so you're binding on the back so that when you flip it over to the front you can do that and then you don't get this let me see if I can you don't get the stitch line showing on the front of your thing and you can use your edge joining foot if you've watched Barb enough times and just top stitch that down. So that's what I do on that. And then um, the back, I didn't like the tie, so I inserted a zipper. It's easy, you can take it out, you can wash it, it doesn't break on you. And what you'll do with that is just get a zipper that's long enough or you can you know, add the tabs if you're a little bit short. I showed that a little bit ago. Your granddaughter is gonna love hers. Yes, every single kid I've given this to has been really excited. I, I had a niece that I um, had one ready and I'd cellophaned it so she saw it before she got it. And she's like, is that mine? And I said, no. And she should have just seen the defeated look on her face. And then I was like, I'm kidding, it's yours. Um, and I did, 
a couple Lola Dutches a while back. That was a few years ago. So anyway, zipper. I'll install it and you just, ah, I can't see what I'm doing. If your fabric's directional, make sure you put it on the top and you can either hang it over. I'll usually hang over this side, use my zipper foot, sew it down and then top stitch and then do it again on the next side. And then you'll just cut, pull your zipper in to the middle, cut your edges off and then put all three layers together and um, hey, come say hi. This is Ruthie. Come on this, oh, wait, wait, what's say? I can never figure this out, this side. There we go, it's opposite. Ruthie's been shipping her pants. Yes, I have. All day. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna say anything? Yes, our office hours are going to be changing for the holidays and I can't get it on message, so. <laughs> can't figure out how to change our message. We're just gonna be closed from Christmas Eve to that next, through Sunday. So we'll be open again on the 28th. Yes. So the stores are open Christmas Eve from Held 10 two. to 2. And New Year's Eve we're open from 10 to 2. And New Year's Day we're closed also. So that was going to be on yes. the message. Okay. We'll It'll figure be there it one out. of these days. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple days to figure that out. Okay. So um, you could do a pocket envelope style. Um, you just need more fabric. So it, you would need more than a fat quarter. You'd probably need two fat quarters to do the envelope. And that works as well. I, I like zippers, I, they're fun. I'll, I'll put a zipper on anything. Um, let's see. Did somebody ask me a question? No. Great tips, thank you. Yeah, the edge joining foot is one of my favorite feet while I'm working with bindings and um, top stitching. I'll use my, if you don't have an edge joining foot, a blind hem foot works as well. It just goes on the other side. So a lot of times you have to shove your fabric into the throat of your machine. Whereas the edge joining I think is on the outside. So that's why I like that for bindings. Cause if you're doing a quilt, you've got more space. You just made your five-year-old grandson one for Christmas. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so I'll add my zipper or if you wanted, you just have to cut this bigger and hem it and add a tab and not just, I don't know, zippers are faster than that I think. And they look a little more professional and they don't get torn and kids aren't tying them and like the one the this Dr. Seuss one I made probably like five years ago my mom had a quilt that she made too that went with it and then I cut these letters out on the silhouette and just applicate them down but if you have an embroidery machine you could embroider their name you could embroider a quote whatever you want you are your only limitation so then you'll put all three layers together and with your zipper. And then I do like my handle. I can't remember what the instructions say, but you just cut it to that, fold in, and then top stitch. And then kind of decide what size you like. Some, And you'll add that on. I think I put that on the front. Like like this and I'll tack it down and then I'll just bind it and when it I'm trying to think no maybe I put it on the back <laughs> I can't remember uh I would say mess with it see what you like I'm gonna see on the piping I put it on the front but if you don't want it to have this weird overhang you could do it on the back and then it would pull from the it doesn't really matter it's for kids they don't care it depends on how fussy you are Hi Dee, thank you. I'm having a decent day. I'm not getting things out as quickly as I would like. They're, these packages are hard. I was like, I'm fast. And then I'm going, everybody, everybody. I got out seven. And it's like, oh my gosh, we have so many to do. I got to do more than seven. You made seven last year, did machine embroidery on all of them. Awesome, PJ. Just received an order. Yay, Birdie, got an order coming your way. So that is how I make that and I just cut my binding. I do cut my binding to two and a half. Um, and I think you'll need two or three strips. Two strips of width of fabric would, is probably plenty. And that might even be enough for your handle too. I don't know, we wrote the pattern. I don't remember what it says. You like the background ma music? Yeah, Cindy likes to play slow Christmas music. I'm like, Cindy, I need it, Peppy. 
Zippers work so well. Did one with a flap. Yeah, I like I like the zippers. Um, and I don't even know what the deal is. <laughs> Let me hurry and look. What what is some last minute sewing y'all have going on? Uh, I've got to make. I like the little wee bra bags. Those are my favorite go to gift. And then I'm gonna make a whole bunch of mini zipper pouches and like throw a chapstick in a gift card to in Utah. We're all addicted to soda, so a drink gift card is usually a safe bet. Sorry, I'm looking on deal of the day. Chris and I talked about this, but we didn't set it in stone. Looks like there's a whole bunch of things on there, and I don't see the reading pillow. Uh-oh. I will get those added. We only have a few of the Lola Dutch and a few of the um, monster ones left, but there were probably six or seven of each and I will switch the pattern. Pattern might be buried in here. Let me try reading pillow. Okay, so the pocket pillow and pattern is free today. So if it, it's because we did it a minute ago, it's going to be deep into the archives of deal of the day so i would just type in reading pillow and it will pull up for the pre free pattern if you haven't gotten it yet